Hey guys, good morning. So I'm not fully dressed, so I'm back to my hot mess self, but I am up early. Uh, something that I've been doing, this is week two, I've been getting up at 5.30 and um, just trying to be a little bit more intentional. So it's a totally different subject if you wanna learn how you can gain a whole month by getting up at five, I'm getting up at 5.30. But also instead of 12 months, you have 13 months, which means you can get more done, right? Um, but how it's helped me a lot, I wasn't gonna talk about this, but why not? Um, and I know it's only been, it doesn't matter. Don't focus on the past, don't focus on the future, you just focus on today. So today I can do it. Like, I don't know if I'll do this forever, but that doesn't matter. It's like, take it one day at a time, which is something that I used to struggle with. The overthinking, can I sustain this? That's not sustainable. I'm so guilty about saying that. It really doesn't matter. What matters is, can you do it today? Is it gonna help you? Is it gonna make you feel like you're more in control? Like you're moving your life forward? Focus on one day. Don't overanalyze, don't do all that stuff. So anyways, I wanted to hop on here because one of my, close, one of my friends um, had just commented on um, a post that I had done, like the JLo, if you saw my picture, it was like, this is what 50 looks like, like hashtag goals, JLo goals. And somebody had posted like, um, I need to work on my life goals. And how many times do we say that? Like, I need to, I want to, or I, like, and so instead of saying I need to work on it, you just do it. Like if you really want to change an area of your life, then decide to do it. Say, okay, like you don't need life goals. You just need, okay, do you wanna be healthier? How do I do that? Write it down. I wanna be healthier or I wanna be, a size like and it's all it's healthy like you got to think health long term but if that motivates you let it motivate you like for me I'm working towards um, just kind of leaning up a little bit more and that's gonna require me honing in my nutrition and I know that and when I get really serious about it then I'm gonna take more action like right now I'm kind of taking action but it's a totally different thing my whole point is that you know instead of just saying I need to that's just like, I kind of want to and I kind of don't, which is okay. Like if you're not really serious about it, there's no judgment, it's your life. You get to live it however you want to live it. But if you really want change, if you're serious, like I need to work on my life goals, then go on Pinterest, find a worksheet, like, or reach out to someone and say, hey, like I want to do this. Like, do you have any recommendations? Um, but, or if you are like, like me, like I, I just kind of get overwhelmed. Don't like set all these different goals. Like don't set like, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this and that, you know? And then before you know it, you're overwhelmed. What if you just change one thing, just one thing, like, and maybe that's getting up earlier. Just that one change is gonna free up some extra time. Maybe you get up earlier, maybe you read a little bit, maybe you listen to some audiobook. Um, and then maybe you have some extra time to get your workout in, or you go for a walk or go walk the dog, or I don't know. I mean, your goals are your goals, but it doesn't have to be, I set 10 new goals and I have to do them every single day. I'm going to work out every single day of the week. I'm going to eat healthy every single day. Like that is overwhelming and it, it can feel defeating when you aren't hitting those goals. So if you know you're not going to work out every day, what if you set a goal of like, I'm going to work out three days this week. I'm gonna work out on, and you write it on your planner. You get, if you don't have a planner, print off a little calendar, they're free online. Print it off on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or maybe during the week, it's crazy. Maybe you can only do it on the weekend. On Saturday and Sunday, I'm gonna work out. And then maybe Wednesday after work, I'm gonna go for a walk, or I don't care what it is. Like, literally, like my TV's right here. I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna knock out a quick dance workout. Like I'm gonna have fun or while I'm cooking dinner, I'm gonna blast the music and I'm gonna shake my booty, I'm gonna jump around and I'm gonna get like a 10 minute, 20 minute cardio in just by being silly. Like it doesn't have to be black and white. So I don't wanna hear people say like, I want to or I want to try to or I need to. Like if you if you really need to then you will do it so it's a choice like just like that quote or i think it was in the the post that i did yesterday it was like talking about i can't the word i can't is just it's just i won't you can't like some people can't like i can't walk like maybe they can't walk 
But for most people, I can't do that. I, I was one of those people who was guilty. I, I could never get up early. I could never do this. And those are, um, what do you call them, generalizations? And they're not true. Like always, like you always, you never, like how many of us women do that, right? So work on changing the words that you're speaking, excuse me, I know what I'm and change that tape. You can, you just don't want to, and that's okay. You just need to own that. Like don't give yourself an out by saying, I can't. I can't do that because my, my schedule is so busy, I have no time. Well, you have time to choose healthier options. If you really wanna see some progress, then, you know, maybe cut out the soda or limit it. Like some people, like I'll see them with these huge sodas like this. What if instead of that big one, you started getting the small and that was your change? Can you imagine how much less sugar you're gonna have over the period of a week? It's not gonna mean the same amount of progress if you cut it out completely, but it's sustainable. And then what if like maybe the next week you just had it like every other day? And then the next week after that, what if you had it like twice a week? And then after that, what if you use it as like, this is my treat and I'm just gonna have one soda a week and I'm gonna look forward to that. I'm gonna really enjoy it. Like these are the little changes that you can make and still see results. I even know of people who um, they plan their foods, like they plan their foods for the day. It's not about being perfect, it's just about having a plan and they follow that plan. And they might even work in like a cup of ice cream into that plan or you know whatever their 10 is. We talk about rating your foods in our groups and they will add that into their day. They kind of just you know plan it out and, and they still lose weight because change, positive change is still change. If you are only having like a small bowl of ice cream every single day, but you are now working out, um, you're drinking water and, um, and you're eating healthier during the day, you're getting your veggies in. Um, if you're you know working with me, you're drinking your Shakeology, which is once a day meal replacement shake, fills in those gaps, gives you energy, totally different story. But if you're doing those things and you're still enjoying the ice cream, you're still gonna get results because instead of the old you, which was like, eat whatever I want, um, like maybe you take the whole ice cream thing out and you're eating out of the ice cream. I've seen people do that. It's like, you know, or you're getting a huge bowl and you're just like scooping and scooping. And you know, what if you could live in a world where you could have ice cream and still see progress on the scale, right? It is possible. Like you could go to McDonald's and instead of getting super sized meal, super sized drink, you could get a kid's meal and you're cutting your calories like, I don't even know the numbers, I'm not a numbers person, but just that small change is gonna make a difference. You might not see the change like in a week. Like if you were like, okay, this week I'm gonna be hardcore, I'm gonna eat really healthy and clean. Of course you're gonna see big changes if you do that. And that's fine if you can, if you wanna do that. If, again, it goes back to the sustainable, but if you feel like I'm gonna do really well and, and restrict and then on the weekends I'm gonna binge, which is something that I've been struggling with, like the self-sabotage and that kind of thing. And it's just something that almost everyone struggles with. We all struggle with it. Um, but anyway, uh, but if you're, I forgot what my train of thought, but if you are making an effort and you're just changing a little bit, like instead of maybe going and getting that coffee that has like 500 calories in it and the breakfast a pastry that's like maybe 500 calories. That's a thousand calories, guys, right there. What if you had like a superfood shake or you made yourself like the egg, muff, the egg muffins or you made something and you had a healthier breakfast and you brought your own coffee or instead you go to Starbucks and you get um, just a regular brewed coffee with like you add some stevia and maybe some half and half or some almond milk. Like there's there's ways that you can progress, but that's still controlling what you're putting into it, right? Um, what if you did that and you saved, you cut out a thousand extra calories just in the morning. You just made that one tweak. Do you understand? Like that would be like, I don't remember the math. I think for every hundred calories you don't consume, it's like a pound. Maybe it's over a month. I think it's like a, a, over a period of a month. But if you were to cut back, and please don't quote me, and for you people who are really good with this, I'm not an expert. I just have been doing this a really long time. So I have a lot of wisdom, I guess. I mean, I am an expert kind of, but I don't have any kind of certification and I don't know it all. So anyways, no haters. <laughs> 
But um, if you were to cut out a thousand calories out of your day, like just like these small changes um, over a month, that's like 10 pounds just by like making a small change. And if you were exercising, say you went for a walk or you got active and you haven't been active and you burn, you can't really go by watches or like the, but say you like are walking for 20 minutes and you're burning maybe 200 calories. I don't know, I'm just guessing. It just depends on your weight, your height, all that stuff matters. Two to 300 calories. Um, and, and so now you're burning like 1300 calories a day. So over the period of a month, by still enjoying some of your favorite foods, getting active, but not killing yourself, you could lose like 13 pounds. Like, think about that, guys. You could probably lose more. But if you like restrict and you like are like starving yourself, your metabolism is slowing down, and then the weekend comes and you're just eating all the things and you just literally gain back everything that you, sh you were working towards and, um, and it kind of defeats the purpose. So, um, work on not doing that deprivation mindset, but that like moderation and just cutting back. Like look at what you're doing right now. What is your, most people kind of have routines. They have things that they do. Maybe you stop by and you get chips on the way home from work. Like what if you could just swap out that one thing and it would change how you feel? Like what if it meant changing that one thing and you could lose 10 pounds and feel more comfortable in your skin? Like it would be worth it, right? So anyways, I just wanted to share that because we get stuck in our head and we're like, I need to get out of your head. Do it. Make a decision. I will make my health a priority and this is how I'm going to do it. And just set a few small goals that you know that you can do. And maybe that's, oh my God, but I was... Maybe that is like I told a client this the other day and I read about, it, I think, in Atomic Habits. It sounds crazy, but it's to me, it sounds like it would work. Tell yourself, I will work out for five minutes. I will, if you like running, if you want to go for a walk, if you do workout videos at home, if you go to the gym, five minutes. Like that's where you start. Like I'm going to get up. I've got my clothes laid out. I put them on. I'm going to work out for five minutes. I guarantee you, if you tell yourself, I will do five minutes, you will probably do more especially if you're me, you're like, I'm already up, I'm already doing this, but it's not so overwhelming. If you know all you have to do is get up and do five minutes of workout, then you're more likely to do it, right? Or maybe you get home from work and you don't have 30 minutes or you don't have an hour, but you got five minutes, you got 10 minutes. So what if you could go do something and you could, and, and think about five minutes may not seem like a lot, but if you did that every day for a month, think of the compound effect of that. Like that would make a difference. Of course, it's not gonna make as big of a difference if you were to pick a, you know, a program like, or, you know, anyway, it's a totally different story. We can all go at our pace. We can, we can go faster, we can go slower. It doesn't matter. You're still passing everybody that's on the couch. And again, it doesn't have to be fitness related. Goals can be anything. It could just be like, you wanna spend more time with your family. I need to spend more time with my family. We'll change that too. I will spend more time with my family. Like, how can you do that? Maybe your goal is to eat together as a family a few nights a week, or maybe start with one night a week, or it is um, like some a new goal that I've set is that we do at least one fun family outing together. Like either that's like go hike a trail or go for a picnic or go bowling. Um, or maybe we do game night, pizza night, something like that, but like quality time where we are spending together. And that may be so easy for some people, but for other people who are busy and, and they're you know on the go and they're maybe driven and they're go-getters and maybe that's just kind of fallen to the wayside. So we all have choices. We can either just keep existing and keep letting time pass us by, or we can say, okay, this is what I want my life to look like and this is how I'm gonna get there. And you just start taking baby steps. And if you have a day where it just all goes to, excuse my French shit, then so what? Let it go. It's gone, yesterday's gone, we're in today, start fresh um, and let it go. Like I, so many people that will like be on a diet or following this thing and then they have a rough day or they have a rough week and they throw it out the window and they say, screw it, I'm just, it's just not for me. It's just not gonna work for me. It will work for you. You just have to do it long enough to see the results of your hard work. It's not gonna happen in a month. It usually takes around three months to really start seeing changes. I mean, you'll feel the changes within that first month, um, but it, it really takes about 
three months to see your body start transforming. And most people kind of quit before they really see those changes. So don't give up, keep at it. And I'd love to see if you start working on some goals um, and action steps. This is what I will do and this is how I'm gonna get there. I would love to see them. Send me a screenshot, send me a message and say, your video inspired me. I sat down and I wrote some realistic, reasonable goals that I can work on. Maybe it's just something that you're gonna to do today. That's it, maybe it's just today. Today I will, and then you check in with me, like, hey, this is what I did, thank you so much. Like, let me know, let me know if this helped. Um, in any way, I know I can ramble, but um, it was just on my heart because I've been there. I've been so guilty. I can't, I never, that kind of thing is we can, we will, we are. So anyways, guys, have a great day. Bye.